Okay, welcome back. This is lesson eight. And now what we're going to do after all of the videos on energy is we're going to start to put these concepts together and work uh, some sample problems uh, together. All right. And uh, I may have to split this into more than one video. We'll see. We'll just uh, see how things go here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll read the question and then we're going to draw a diagram for each of these examples. All right, so question number one is, identify the following processes as endothermic or exothermic. And uh, problem number one uh, doesn't give us much information. It just says making ice, all right, making ice. So we're going to draw, we're going to draw a picture here. And um, I'm going to use some boxes to do it. All right, so we're going to have a big box here. And then on the inside of it, we're going to have some H2O. All right, and we're going to call the inner box our system, all right, because this is the water that we want to make ice out of, right? We're going to freeze this. And out here we have the surroundings. And, um, the surroundings are going to be at a certain temperature and the liquid um, inside the box is also going to be at a certain temperature and what I want to do now is just say to you alright think about this for a minute what are we going to have to do to the temperature of the water inside this box in order to get the water in here to freeze how are we going to get it to freeze what needs to happen all right, I'm going to pause for a second and let you think about that. So basically, the temperature is going to have to be decreased in here, right? So we're going to have to allow kinetic energy, and I'll write it this way, Ke. We're going to have to allow kinetic energy to leave this liquid and come into the surroundings. So uh, remember from the previous videos, I'm going to put a negative sign on this. It indicates that energy is going to be leaving. And that energy is going to come, have to come out into the region where the surroundings are. So I'll do a plus Ke here. So now that we've established which way the energy has to move, right? Because remember, what's going to happen is we need this to freeze. We need to make a solid out of this. And in order to take liquid water and make a solid, we're going to have to remove the energy. So kinetic energy is going to have to come out of here. So remember our definitions. If energy is moving out of the system, what is that called? Is it exo or is it endo? So in this process, the freezing of ice is exo, exothermic. We have to remove the energy. We have to remove the energy, all right? All right, let's take a look at question number two and see what it says. All right, question number two says water evaporating out of a glass. All right, so water evaporating out of a glass. I'm just going to abbreviate this, water evaporating out of a glass. All right, so let's draw a picture of a, of a glass. Here we go. All right, and we've got it filled with water. All right, and uh, the water is going to be evaporating. It's a it's uh it's both a temperature and a pressure dependent thing but I, I i in this example i want to keep things as simple as i possibly can so let's do it this way let's say that we have this glass of water um at uh 25 degrees centigrade to start with this is room temperature right i've talked about that in class this is room temperature in most situations and so for the fahrenheit people this is going to be around 75 degrees um fahrenheit now think about this for a minute. If we want to get the water to, to evaporate at a higher rate than, than it is if it's just sitting out in an open room at room temperature, how are we gonna how are we gonna accomplish that? Right? And hopefully common sense tells you that you're gonna have to heat this up. 
right? If we heat it up and we put more energy into this, right? So we dump in kinetic energy plus Ke, right? It's plus Ke because we're using the hot plate. And, and that provides enough energy to the water molecules so that they can break the interactions between the particles and they can go into the gas phase. So we have these little H2Os going into the gas phase from the liquid, right? That's what's going on here. So the fact that the kinetic energy, it has to build up in here, right? The energy is coming from the source. The fact that the energy, kinetic energy has to enter the water to drive it into the gas phase should uh, it should make sense to you that this is going to be uh, an endothermic process. It's going to be an endothermic process. All right. Now, let's look at another screen. Uh, the next one is touching a cold handrail. All right. Touching a cold rail. All right, so I'm going to draw a little picture here. This is a segment of a, of, a, uh, of, a, of a handrail, right? I'm just grabbing a section of it. And then surrounding this, here, we're just going to pretend that the box I just drew there is your hand, all right? So I will label it and then this is the rail which is cold and you know that your hand right is part of your body and so body temperature in degrees centigrade is 37 degrees C all we know about the handrail is that it's cold relative to our body right it's a it's a cool body whereas the hand that's holding the rail is a hot body Right, this is classic first law of thermodynamic um, thermodynamics. Right, first law of thermo uh, that uh, when a hot body is in contact with a cold body, um, kinetic energy is going to move from the hot body into the cold body until the two bodies have the same temperature. So what's going to happen is uh, kinetic energy is going to move from the hand into the rail and it's going to warm the rail up. So relative to the hand, all right, the, for the hand, the process is exothermic. All right, the hand loses energy. I'll just to be consistent, I'll call it kinetic energy, all right? And relative to the handrail, I want you to think about this, relative to the rail, uh, the energy is endothermic, right? The rail is gonna warm up and your hand is going to cool down, all right? Now let's take a look at question number four. Water vapor condensing on grass to form dew. All right, water condensing on, uh, on the grass to form uh, dew. So we're gonna have water condensing on grass to form dew, all right? Now let's draw a picture for this one. So here is a, a collection of gas, water, right, H2O vapor. So I'm just gonna put the little gas particles around like this. And then we're gonna surround this by another container and we're gonna label this as being the grass. And this is H2O vapor. Now, ask yourself a question. How do we get this vapor 
to condense. You, uh, you know, remember where we started all this business. If we were to look at, you know, the relationship between a solid going to the liquid all right and going to the gas whoops made a mistake there let me just fix that quickly all right so we're going to go to the gas where all the particles here are separated so if we want to go in reverse right how do we go how do we go from here to the liquid how do we get from here to the liquid we're, we're going to have to undergo a condensation. So what that means is that we're going to have to subtract energy, right? We're going to pull kinetic energy out, out of this uh, system, if you will. I'll circle it so I can do that. I can call this a system, right? We're going to have to pull kinetic energy out of it. So I'm going to draw that in here. Kinetic energy is going to have to come out, right? So the, in the, the grass... Uh, is going to gain in kinetic energy and the vapor has to lose it and once we have that occur then we're going to have condensation so the answer to this again if you draw diagrams and you label things you can see right here that relative to the vapor that this is an exothermic process it's an exothermic process all right, and with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. Again, if you're having trouble with this, you need to go slowly, pause the video, and if you have to, go back and rewatch certain sections of it. And we'll do the other half of these problems in, in the next uh, video uh, segment.